Why are negative emotions so helpful? I have a confession to make. Like so many people, I used to work really hard to stuff down my negative thoughts and feelings. This is a natural thing to want to do, and there's so many strategies that people use to effectively deny their negative feelings. One popular strategy is to get super busy when you're always immersed in another project, whether it's organizing your sock drawer, working as many hours as you can, or getting lost in your favorite series, or spending hours escaping in social media. Then it's easy to forget your worries while you're totally distracted and engaged in other pursuits. Another way that people often stuff their negative feelings is to try to talk ourselves out of it. Working hard to convince yourself that you should not have been thinking these negative thoughts in the first place. However, this strategy often backfires as social psychologist Daniel Wegner learned. He conducted a study in which he asked participants to not think of a polar bear for five minutes. That was their one task and they were to ring a bell if they thought of a polar bear at all during those five minutes. Well, guess what? Everyone thought of a polar bear an average of once per minute. This led to Wengner developing his theory of ironic processes, which explains that when we actively try to not think of something, we are going to usually end up thinking about it. So trying to talk ourselves out of negative thoughts or trying to ignore them is not an effective strategy. Over the past two years, fueled by small and dramatic ways that COVID has turned our lives around, I realized and also admitted for the first time, this is kind of embarrassing, that I too have negative feelings. And when you're a positive psychology thought leader, it's like a double whammy, because when you have negative feelings, you know all the things that you can do to not have the negative feelings. So I called my dear friend and mentor, Tal Ben-Shahar, confessing this dilemma. Tal is a thought leader in the science of happiness and a leading light in the field of positive psychology. And he says, Lisa, we all need to give ourselves permission to be human. And that includes experiencing negative emotions. So today, why not practice giving yourself permission to be human by accepting some not so pleasant thoughts that are surely kicking around in that big old brain of yours. Thoughts are just thoughts. Feelings are just feelings. It's not so much about if you experience those negative thoughts and feelings, because we all experience negative feelings. It's more about what you do when you experience those feelings by having grace and showing loving kindness toward yourself. I promise you that this strategy really works because whenever I give myself permission to acknowledge and to feel all of my feelings, the negative ones dissipate sooner. I can take a pause and try to learn what is triggering me, the feeling underneath the negative thought. And then, just like a dark storm cloud, the negative feeling will pass. I'm sending you strength and love. Soaring words is the power to heal.